we are here in Zurich Lake and with my friend. Hello, my friend. Hello. So welcome to my channel, Switzerland Pinoy Review. And today I'm going to ask some questions. And this is my struggle because of my second language, English. <laughs> so I might be deteriorated here. So welcome to Switzerland. You introduce yourself, where you come from. Sure, my name is Alvin, Alvin Carl. I live in Philadelphia, but I'm originally from the Caribbean, so mm -hmm. the Grenadines. And I'm in Switzerland for a few weeks. I'm staying in Basel. My friend Fernando has graciously <laughs> offered to show me around Zurich. This is a beautiful lake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a wonderful day, perfect for seeing the city. You know, mm -hmm. people are out here running, <laughs> just relaxing along the lake. It's, it's, it's pretty chill. Yeah. Pretty chill. Okay, thank you with that. So my question is, why among other countries in Europe, you prefer to go here in Switzerland? What makes it stand out? Well, there's two reasons. For a long time, I wanted to visit Switzerland because it's, there's a many jobs for what I do, like bioinformatics. Mm -hmm. But also, I'm always sure that it's very like peaceful, pretty quiet, pretty neutral, mm -hmm. and it's very central to uh, all of Europe. Yeah, so yeah. People come here when they want to visit different countries. Yeah. And the thing is, I heard that the different is a few cities that are very multicultural, like Geneva, mm -hmm. Brazil, and, and Zurich. Mm -hmm. So I thought it would be nice to finally visit, kind of see what all the hype is about, and it's, it is pretty, pretty chill, pretty I like it so far, but it's only been two days. <laughs> but my question is, uh, your your first uh, impression uh, of Switzerland? Um, my first impression, quiet. Quiet, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, I've been there only on the weekends. And mm -hmm. In Brazil, it is more of a multicultural feel, so there is some liveliness between the cultures on along the river, the mm -hmm. Rhine River. Yeah, yeah. Um, but besides that, in the evening it's pretty quiet, not much chatter on the streets. Mm -hmm. um, the people, I think in certain countries, you know, people are always like very friendly. Mm -hmm. I've noticed there, they'll give you a smile, but there's not much small talk. <laughs> but I would say like the, the expat community, like that's the international people, mm -hmm. they tend to be very friendly and outreaching. So yeah. it's, I like it so far. So how about the environment here, like the cities, the buildings, and because you have mentioned already about the people that they are like, uh, yeah, Switzerland is a bit like um, a quiet people, should I say? Yeah. Okay. It's a, it's a very clean city, very nice, very well kept, mm -hmm. and to come back to the people, like, I like how everybody is very concerned about the community in terms of like, they, they always speak out for themselves, mm -hmm. keep the city clean. Transportation is on point, like yeah. always on time, mm -hmm. very efficient, and it's not too hard to get around. <laughs> so if you ever can just do you don't have to worry about like getting from city to city or <laughs> yeah, yeah. the city. And the buildings are nice. Um, so far, I've only been to two cities, Basel and, and yeah. Zurich. Uh, there's not so many big buildings like you'll see in the United States. Mm -hmm. However, funny enough, the biggest buildings in Brazil are Roche. Yeah, Roche. Roche. Company. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's okay for you just compare, not really to have um, like a competition of beautiful country because you live in America or the, in the USA. Uh, first, world. first world country as well. Yeah. So what can you, what are the similarities and dissimilarities of these two big countries in the world? <laughs> so from, from talking to a few um, experts from Germany and also a few Swiss, it seems like uh -huh. uh, they have similar work ethics. Mm -hmm. so, uh, people work really hard and depending on which city you're in in the United States, people are, you know, themselves are quiet. Mm -hmm. uh, but the one thing that stands out to me here between the United States and the uh, and Switzerland, mm -hmm. and this is true for most of Europe, is like the architecture. Like here you can see a lot of very old architecture, which is very beautiful, very Korean, not really. Mm -hmm. But and then like also the beautiful lakes, the mountains, mm -hmm. the nice scenery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the US you see you know, much more modern buildings. Um, in the Europe or in Switzerland, like the history comes alive. Like mm -hmm. if you were to go through Basel, 
a lot of the stores are in those same historic buildings that's been there for years. Mm -hmm. And it's very nice to see that same architecture with the little modern stores in there. <laughs> that's pretty much it. And of course, they're not a competition. But <laughs> the, the food here, depending on where you go, you have, since you have from these different cultures, mm -hmm. if you go to the United States, you'll notice that the food is Americanized. Yeah, yeah. I think the food here is a bit more authentic than the different cultures. Mm -hmm. um, but it depends. They always ask you how spicy you want it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but but you, you just try the bread here. The bread. I Swiss know. bread. It's so hard. I haven't actually... Yeah, the bread is. I actually tried one. <laughs> it's pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about like... Not the, so I've had like the... Um, like Indian food or like Thai food. Mm -hmm. from, like the little shops around. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't actually been to... The, uh, the real restaurants, the big mm -hmm. restaurants, because yeah. I heard they're very expensive. I was talking to a, uh, a guy from Australia yesterday, uh -huh. and he told me he went to a restaurant and had a meal for two people, mm -hmm. and it cost him like over 200 francs. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's insane. <laughs> like, that's, really that's a party. It's a party already. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The prices here in Switzerland compared to the US. So, so far, food, food, which is. Uh, Toya. Toya. Yeah, <laughs> <it's very laughs> I think like, based on what I've seen so far in the cities, it's comparable, like the food here versus the food in say Philadelphia or New York. Mm -hmm. But like if you're in North Carolina or Georgia, definitely the food is cheaper mm -hmm. in the States. But here is mm -hmm. but here, it's about the same. Um, what I what I understand, I haven't experienced this yet because I've only been here for two days. Yeah, yeah. They say that the food here is much better quality. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, later we can try what we're going to eat for our lunch. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, but you're not a vegetarian. Uh, no. Vegetarian? No, no, not no. I'm just like a half half. At home I eat a uh, vegetable, fruits and blah blah blah, but outside I can eat a dragon. <laughs> so, we are here let's showing them where we are now. We are in the lake Zurich and this lake is one of the most beautiful lake here in Switzerland wherein you can see the actually the lake is uh, if you see it online it's like a bluish but actually it's a greeny uh, yeah it's a greeny one right can you see uh, oh yeah so what can you see about the nature like see while going here in the train uh, you, you yeah. saw like the green valley so what can you say about it Yeah, 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 nice one, yeah, nice one. Really, really nice. Uh, you know, like when I go on a train or travel, most days I don't see that at all. Mm -hmm. um, and this is just between Zurich and Brazil. We haven't even been to the mountains yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have, really yeah. The hype is real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And Limus here is like the nature, it's the best nature here. So, so here you can relax, my brother. You want to to go with that? I got with the swans. <laughs> oh, you can choose as well if you want to. What what's the name of that? Oh, paddle. Paddle boat. Ah, paddle boat. And yeah. this one a paddle boat. Or else you can have this swan here. Yeah. <laughs> nice one. So can you uh, recommend uh, Switzerland among your friends coming here? Oh definitely. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Definitely come to Switzerland. Again, it's only been two days. Actually. When I got there, I got here on Friday afternoon. Yeah. Within six hours, I text my friend. I'm like, man, this is the best six hours of my life. <laughs> like, <laughs> I should yeah. totally come. Yeah, yeah. But it's a it's a good experience. Um, like by all means, come. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll let you know how maybe I'll let you know how the mountain we go to the mountains, how that goes, <laughs> how fun it is. But it's it's nice. It's peaceful. It's chill. Let's <laughs> let's put it this way. If you're looking for a, a, a nice little break. To like calmly, mm -hmm. explore nature, mm -hmm. have quiet walks in the city, just want to relax. Switzerland is the perfect place for that. Yeah. I want to have like, a, you know, uh, a very like a party life. Uh, maybe not Switzerland, but New York. New York. Uh, <laughs> Italy, but Miami. Uh, you promise that if I go to the USA, you bring me to the New York. Times Square. Yeah. But where is uh, Hollywood? It's not in New York. It's California. California. It's far. Angeles, yeah. So it's far. 
So before we end, I have to show them the mountains that you have mentioned while ago, the beautiful, the greeny mountains. Because it's springtime, next is summer. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why it's uh, hot. <laughs> it's really hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you go. So people are really relaxing here. <laughs> so quiet. Yeah.